Hello everyone and welcome to this show and uh, I'm enjoying a glass of wine here maybe you should do that also mm -hmm. okay I guess I'm supposed to do this presentation here about the city of 42 so what is that what am I getting at as you can see Detroit this is this is a map of uh, Detroit uh, how to say Detroit uh, uh, Detroit City or the center of Detroit yeah it's it's the border of Detroit and it is 142 square miles and so so why is it so important with the number 42 uh, you can see that if you look on, on the web, like some people say that the number 42 is like the most awesome number or something like that. And um, some mathematicians talk about the number 42 because it's speci special in some ways. But um, what actually, it actually seems to be a quite evil number. Okay. But how can a number be evil? We will get to that. Okay. So just uh, relax and um, let me explain. Mm. So this is not all. I'm, I'm not just going to say that uh, Detroit is the city of 42 just because it's 142 square miles. But it is, it is also on latitude 42 and it is on longitude minus uh, 2 times 42. And that's already now we are quite, uh, it's quite impressive. We have these three, three things that uh, show us that Detroit has a strong connection to the number 42. And... Um, but I said it's an evil number, so let's uh, let's let's look into it, okay? So if we if if we look into ye mantra, uh, you know you calculate uh, numbers from words. Uh, then forty two, um, you see here it equals to seventy four and thirty eight. Uh, 74 in reversed ordinal and 38 in reversed uh, full reduction and that is the same as um, or that's actually um, the reversed of uh, because the king and lucifer equals to 74 and 38 okay so now now we have connected 42 uh, we have connected that to Lucifer and the king. Okay. So, but, but you may be a bit hesitate, hesitate to, to just say that, okay, but I mean, this is not that strong. This, this is not a, this is not a good connection. So, um, what if I show you this? So in the Bible, we can look in the Bible sometimes to find these things. So Revelation 13.5 The beast was given a mouth to utter proud words and blasphemous uh, and to exercise its authority for 42 months. So apparently 42 uh, is something in relation to the beast or some kind of evil according to the bible at least okay so yeah it's it's beginning to because i said i said it was it was evil okay so we will see we will see if it is mm. okay let's continue so, so you can see that 
the, there is a statue of Baphomet. And I, I, I have the text in red. You can see that Lucifer is in red. The beast is in red from Revelation there. Revelation 13.5. But also the text for, for um, this Baphomet image. Because, uh, yeah, I have this kind of color coding. So it will be easier to follow. So uh, Baphomet, Baphomet statue was first displayed in Detroit. So that's interesting, like the first place in the world where they, they created this really big and heavy statue of uh, Baphomet or Lucifer. And uh, that was in Detroit they had it. But did they know that Detroit was the city of 42? Or was it just a kind of matrix glitch that they did it there? We will never know the answer to that. Maybe it doesn't matter. Uh, okay. But also, this uh, Baphomet statue is actually some kind of copy or uh, of um, uh, the statue of... Um, George Washington, and uh, and actually George Washington, his he was forty two years old when his career started blooming, and later the same year uh, became uh, commander of the Intercontinental Army. So that's quite uh, quite significant. He was forty two years old. And he was actually the one that uh, took over Detroit from the French. And what also matters is that uh, George Washington was the first president in the world. So no one really know what a president is because no one had been that before. So he was he was kind of treated like a king. That's how I, I, I think about it. So, and also what's interesting is that, as you can see in, on the top of this Washington image, um, um, Washington is the 42nd state. And actually, right after, I don't know if it was right after, but um, after it was, after Detroit was taken over by George Washington. Later in 1805, it burned down, and they rebuilt rebuilt um, uh, Detroit in the image of Washington D.C. So, so now we have a kind of connection to because Washington, the state, is the 42nd state. So we also have the ar the the design or architectural map of the street it is um, it has some kind of connection to 42 not only the it's it's not only 142 square miles and latitude 42 and longitude minus 2 times 42 but it's also this connection connection okay mm. So this actually ties into it because Detroit in uh, ordinal Yamantra is 91, which is, is the same as Phoenix. And as I have talked about earlier, Phoenix is, uh, has some kind of connection to Antichrist or something like that. Also, Detroit was first, uh, Detroit was founded by the French and Detroit doesn't mean, uh, uh, Detroit doesn't come from the Detroit, but it's very, very simil similar, in my opinion. And, and <clears throat> de Detroit in, in French means to destroy. So already here we can see that there is some 
some uh, concerning coincidences about this city that um, doesn't bode well and uh, we will I will show more about the Phoenix because this is this is kind of a um, a video where I try to talk about many things and try to show the bigger picture of it. Uh, okay. Besides that, so you can see that Detroit equaled 90, 91, but we also have the computer game, which is which has actually I have talked about this, it earlier because it has a significance, so it has that, and Detroit become human uh, equals to uh, 911 <laughs> in ordinal Yamantra. And that is the same as Return of the King. And I guess you are starting to realize the severity of this, um, this uh, the meaning in this. Yeah, so let's just continue. So maybe you thought it was a coincidence that D Detroit equaled to Phoenix in Ordinal Yamantria. But uh, if you look at the seal of Detroit, uh, they have um, a fire about it burning down. And to the right, the text there says Resurrect Cin Cinerebus, which is Latin and means like from ashes it will rise just like a phoenix, so I, as I wrote there, like a phoenix from ashes, it, it is rebirthed. Um, so this is not a coincidence. This is intentional. Um, let, let, let me modify that because some things that are connected or most things that I am showing here are not really thought through, I think. I think it just becomes like this because it's a fractal and uh, there's no one controlling all of this. It just happens. Okay, Let, let's continue. So, uh, so the city of 42, uh, 42 equal to king, as I said, and king is Lucifer. So I'm going to show here a lot of different kings that that um, have been a part of uh, Detroit history. So um, it is really significant this. Uh, so uh, the reason why Detroit have so many like kings is because it, it uh, symbolizes um, the city of 42 um, where yeah, this blasphemous. Um, okay, I'm I'm not a Bible reader. I just happen to understand that there are connections here, and so it has it has connection to to the return of the king, uh, and that's the same thing as um, uh, Jurassic Liars twenty six is talking about, and um, I have understood a lot of things from him but i actually think that my fractal that i'm finding here <laughs> my fractal is bigger than yours okay <laughs> and um i'm not trying to um be rude or anything uh, I'm, I'm i think we should like combine our forces jurassic liars and me but i don't think he will but i hope so because if he just saw all these things about detroit there is so much more. Detroit is like the center of this fractal. And then it goes out and Jurassic Liars found about, um, about uh, Elvis. But it, it doesn't stop with Elvis because the center of the fractal is Detroit. So if you just look at Detroit, you will find a lot of more kings that tie into your puzzle, uh, Jurassic Liars. Uh, so that, that, that's a user that is doing similar research as I'm doing. 
but uh, with a different conclusion. So we have one king here. So uh, Martin Luther King, he debuted his uh, speech, I have, a, I have a Dream, in Detroit. And this is quite unknown history. But that's how it is. Okay. So we have one king, first of all. Then we have king of hip hop, Eminem. And I have done a separate video about Eminem also, which is called like King of Hop Hip Hop, where I found the uh, fractal around that. We also, we also have the new um, the new um, hip hop uh, guy, and you can read his name there. Maybe you should drink some wine because maybe it's hard to take this. Otherwise, by the way. I don't recommend drinking because it doesn't, um, I, I, I think I shouldn't talk about this in this video. <clears throat> don't worry about me, I've been out uh, running today, taking a long walk and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine. So um, there's a rapper called uh, Doug, uh, uh, 42 Doug. Yeah, so that that's interesting right like no one would uh, understand why his name is like that but um, his it's because if you take it in reverse you have god uh, 42 <clears throat> okay <clears throat> then you have more, more kings more kings uh, you have um, both lions and tigers are kings of nature they are, they are actually kings in different kinds of forests. So you can't say like, no, lion is the king or tiger is the king. Both are kings in different kinds of forests. Um, so um, uh, they have uh, Detroit tigers in Detroit. So this is sports. And for another sport, they have uh, Detroit lions. So th there's a true king theme here. It is a part of the fractal. It's automatic. It's because it's because it's the city of 42 and 42 equals to Lucifer, which is the uh, equals to the king and and so on. Okay? So, so here I'm coming into Jurassic Liars um, part here because yeah he, he helped me understand that um, Elvis is uh, is uh, big and uh, important in this. So Elvis is the king. He is seen as the, the king, and he had most shows in Detroit. Okay, this is very significant. So this ties Kings and Elvis into Detroit. Besides that, he had a phoenix on his jacket. And if you look down to the bottom, uh, third row to the bottom, you can see that Detroit equals to Phoenix. And also 9-1. And you can see at the bottom 911 for the game, Return of the King. Okay? You see it? Right? It shouldn't be so hard. <sighs> okay, I'm not trying to disrespect. I obviously I had some wine. So it's fine, right? Okay, let's continue. Uh, so um he died at the age of 42, of course, right? And we have the home run king, uh, Hank Aaron. Uh, he made his fir first home run in Detroit. And besides that, you, you can see that um, in my, um, in my uh, Detroit Pentagram Insanity Puzzle, you can see how Hank Aaron and Elvis Presley tie together. So I have a separate video about that, where there's this big fractal around that. 
Okay. Uh, so, oh yeah, I got lazy here, you see? So it, I just had one more image to do, but I, I was a bit lazy. That's, that's what happens sometimes. So we have Alice Cooper. He's uh, the king of... Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. This guy above. Uh, Hank Aaron. He's uh, the home run king. So we have all the kings have a strong connection to Detroit. Um, Alice Cooper grown up in Detroit. The same as Eminem. Eminem grown, grew up in Detroit. Uh, Alice Cooper is currently doing... Uh, um, album or something called uh, uh, Detroit Stories where he is uh, uh, it seems like he's executing uh, people <laughs> yeah it's like uh, not real right but it's um, and he's yeah I have a separate video about that also because it also ties into this and then Michael Jackson uh, he he started with Jackson 5 and became famous, and Jackson Five had their, uh, they they had their office in, uh, or yeah, it was in Detroit. Uh, so yeah, Michael Jackson started in Detroit. And besides that, I also added that, like some of you understand that thirty three is significant, and uh, Detroit area code is three one three. Okay, so this should be pretty clear that uh, the place that is uh, is is a critical place is Detroit, and uh, I think it's pretty clear, right? You have all these kings, not only one king, and uh, besides that. Each one have their separate fractal around them, and more, more probably have. And I just didn't look into it. I just didn't do that. Uh, so, yeah, that's all. Bye bye. Bye bye bye.